All right, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video. This is uh, something I've never done before. I wanna put my face uh, in front of the camera a little more, give you guys a little behind the scenes of what we're working on here at Tiny Track Cars. Uh, and by we, I mean me, uh, Tiny Track Cars is just me. This is my uh, die cast room, my die cast space. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a little walk around. We have a couple little surprises, a couple updates here. Um, including uh, Candy Mountain is under full construction. Uh, we are redoing the whole track uh, to make it 100% even lanes. Uh, got, got something really excited for you here. First of all, right behind me, we have uh, some custom cases that I make uh, that I, I store cars in, uh, and then the pegboard for our tournament brackets. Let me, let me spin you around here, actually. So we have our, my cases. This is actually just gonna become my Porsche collection. Uh, some cars that I use for uh, test runs that I've built myself. And then my S2000 collection is gonna go over here. Um, the rest of my cars will be stored in those cases over there. Don't look over there, it's kind of a mess. Um, this is my <clears throat> tournament brackets where we're gonna be using to move the cars along. Uh, that will be for <clears throat> a 16 car bracket for Candy Mountain, scorecards. This will be for a 16 car bracket for Rainier Rally. Uh, and then this will be scorecards for Rainier Rally. I plan to put paper behind here, <clears throat> uh, get something printed so you don't see the extra holes. It'll be a little bit nicer when time comes. Uh, moving right along, there's a big mess here. <clears throat> Ignore that. Tools and stuff in there. This is where I build cars. So this is where I work. Um, some extra cases that I took down off the wall. Those are for sale on our website, tinytrackcars.com or our Etsy store. Um, moving right along, we have our uh, Rainier Rally track. Uh, and this is a new series that we're starting, <clears throat> actually filming this week once all the cars arrive. Uh, this is our straight line uh, rally track, uh, <clears throat> filmed with the dolly. So I'll, the GoPro will go on here. That'll be filming. And the way we do this is, this is one of the first times I've ever seen this, is so the track is perfectly straight, as you can see. There's no change in grade. And I actually film it at an angle. Uh, so the secret sauce here is I had this vision a long time ago that I wanted a track that looked completely flat. So when you put the cars on it and you film at the same angle as the track and you straighten the footage out, <clears throat> the cars seem like they're flat. So the whole track is built at an angle, uh, still have some, some work to do as far as uh, signs, uh, some, uh, there's a, this guy, a Lego guy hanging in the woods there, so don't mind him. Jump number one, it goes to open track, come down here, jump number two, goes to a uh, wider open track, which is the Sizzler's track, and then finish line here, and I've been putting my people and stuff. Uh, and then it safely goes through the backdrop into a padded box so the cars stay safe. So that is Rainier Rally. Um, these cases here is where I store all my extra cars. We have cars that are here for tournaments, <clears throat> and then just everything else. I'm starting to label them uh, and putting them by manufacturer. I'm gonna get a rack for this and all that. Um, extra track pieces there, loose car, or carded cards there. Um, moving on around here, we have <clears throat> my 3D printing station where I'm, this is the, this is the fun part. Um, so I've been working with Russell at Spoolheads for a little while now on the updates to our new track, uh, new Candy Mountain track, uh, which is right here. Uh, you can see part of old Candy Mountain. Uh, it's still there. So the, the main drop is still there. Uh, previously we had a 90 degree turn right here, which came out to Lollipop Landing. Life Pipe Landing turned and went back into Cupcake Corner and then down. Um, we have decided that we wanted to make this track equal length. Uh, and I drew some sketches up and I've been working with Russell at Spoolheads. I highly recommend Russell. Uh, Spoolheads.com is his website. This SR2 track that he has designed, uh, he's been working with me side by side, designing pieces. I'm test printing and fitting the track and we're basically coming up with a full custom track. Uh, He's actually gonna be working with me on a start gate as well. So I'll have a start gate, which is SR2 track, 
that Hot Wheels track will get replaced. This is all SR2 dual lane track. Uh, some custom pieces in here to change grade from downhill to flat. Uh, it comes, we have a 45 degree angle here, then another 45 degree angle, so equal lanes, and then a perfectly even, uh, this is one thing I'm really excited about, is this single lane, 180 degree bank turn, uh, butterfly turn here. We still don't have a name for it yet. It'll be decorated. We're thinking the lollipop loops. Since we took out lollipop landing, that'll be lollipop loops pending. Uh, obviously, that'll be covered, plaster cloth decorated. The backdrop will continue around so it'll look like sky and clouds. That comes down and goes into Crash Racers. Crash Racers will uh, be opened up. <clears throat> This, we had to loop here, and there was a little bit too much speed coming down the hill, so we decided to take the swirl out, which was a swirl around and then a 90 degree here. I'm actually going to extend this about a foot further, so it's a little less abrupt. Um, so that'll probably be, I think, Gummy Bear, uh, or like Gummy Bear Cave, or uh, something like that back there. It'll just be decorated. Uh, so that'll come down, and then continue Crash Racers, There'll obviously be a uh, diorama here, so you don't see any of this, like my beautiful shop vac. Uh, this will be closed in. And then we come down the, the main straight here. Uh, and then this is another cool thing that me and Russell worked on, is I, I had this vision for, I wanted the track to, to merge and loop back around. Uh, so previously we had the intersection here where the cars would go around and then cross back through and there'd be crashes. It's cool for the crashes, but not cool on people's modified cars that they spend a lot of time and money on. So um, finish line will be right here, and then it'll merge and loop around, and the cars will actually, if they are fast enough, they'll stage back here next to uh, the finish line. And I'll put a stop there, so I can kind of see what places they're in, uh, how they finished, and then you kind of just another aspect of the video, you'll see them coming back in a frame here. So obviously the candy and stuff just piled up there now. But huge updates to Candy Mountain. I do think I'm gonna tear off the paper and just paint the wall directly uh, just because my OCD does not like seeing the tape, even though you don't see it in the final edited video because we're shooting uh, you know, tight you know, like this. Uh, so you don't see any of that. So that's the big, big update for Tiny Track Cars. Uh, Rainier Rally coming uh, very soon. Should have a video out in a couple weeks. Uh, probably gonna do a video for uh, Candy Mountain on once the track is finished. Uh, and then I'm also, another exciting thing is I'm also going to release a full 2023 schedule of events uh, for, for the whole season. Uh, that way you guys can see what's coming up, what we have planned uh, and get ready for it. Those will probably be announced on our website, tinytrackcars.com once they're ready. And the season will kick off uh, on Rainy Rally and then goes directly to uh, Candy Mountain with the uh, Hot Tamale Tournament, which we're probably gonna rename to something different, but it'll still be an open class, anything goes uh, tournament, uh, where you'll, the winner of that tournament will take on the previous um, winner of Hot Tamale Tournament one, which was Uncle Elvis. So there is the update. Again, spoolheads.com. Russell has been super awesome with helping me get this SR2 track together and uh, the customization of Candy Mountain. Uh, thanks for following. As soon as we hit 500 subscribers, I'll be doing more community updates in this channel. So be sure to like and subscribe, uh, all that fun stuff that YouTube wants you to do. And I'm Nick and thanks for watching, appreciate it.